everyone, welcome to Multiverse. Wes here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at everything we know so far about the Witcher Netflix TV series. Now, we're going to talk about potential release dates, confirmed characters, possible storylines, and everything else that you need to know. But before we get into it, be sure to enter our monthly giveaway. For this month, we're going to be giving away 10 tickets to see the Han Solo movie. It's really easy to enter. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on for a chance to win. Leave a comment on why you want to win with your Twitter handle attached, and I will pick the winner at the end of the month. Good luck. So if you've ever played video games or read books, then you should obviously know what The Witcher is, but it's a Polish novel series that was adapted to a very successful fantasy RPG series by CD Projekt Red. And now it's being adapted into an eight episode Netflix series that's currently in development. Now the creative genius that's currently writing it is actually the person behind Marvel's Daredevil and The Defenders, and that is writer Lauren Schmidt Hisrich. And I would say that she's one of the best Twitters that I've followed this year because she's been tweeting a lot of behind the scenes stuff on the highs and lows of production as well as information about the characters that are going to be in the series. And if you're like me, who is a huge fan of the original book saga, then I want you to just exhale because the author said that he's cool with it and he is on board with the show's writer. He said in a recent press release, I'm thrilled that Netflix will be doing an adaption of my stories, staying true to the source material and the themes that I've spent over 30 years writing. I'm excited about our efforts together as well as the team assembled to shepherd these characters to life. So not only do they have an amazing writer, writer, but they have the author Andre Sapkowski working on the project as well. Now I'd say one of the biggest questions that people have been asking is when is this thing going to release? Now I know the show was announced about a year ago, so there's not much information that we have yet about the release date as they're literally trying to get production. They're trying to get uh, the casting done, the writing it still. So I would say that 2020 would be probably the best potential window. And that actually comes from Hisrich herself on Twitter. Now we don't know whether or not that release window is going to come to fruition, but it seems pretty likely that they want to get this out by at least 2020. Now in February, Lauren did tweet this out and she said, the Witcher pilot is out for notes and I'm out for the weekend to spend some time with my kids. See you bright and early on Monday. So that confirms that the pilot episode is done. That means they've got seven more to do. Now you're probably asking yourself, what do you mean? There's only going to be eight episodes in the first season and it's true. In a tweet, history said eight episodes. Yes, I know. I know it may not seem like enough for you, but creatively it's the right call. The episodes can be tight, action packed, rich in character and story without lagging in the middle of the season. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you. Now, as a fellow Netflix holic like myself, I'm kind of upset it's only going to be eight episodes. But honestly, if the writer thinks that it only should be eight episodes, I'm down with it. I don't think this has anything to do with the funding and whether or not the series is going to catch on or not. I think that all is irrelevant. The series will catch on because almost every person that's a fan of the books or the games is 100% going to watch this show on Netflix. Now, let's talk about some possible storylines or the plot of the Netflix Witcher series. And fun fact, if you actually go to the Netflix website and type in The Witcher, then it actually shows a description and yes i already added this to my list it says the witcher Geralt, a mutated monster hunter struggles to find his place in a world where people often prove more wicked than beasts now as for the plot it hasn't been announced yet whether or not the show will follow the novels at the very beginning or if there's going to be specific stories from the saga that will be you know kind of cherry picked but the executive producers sean daniel and jason brown who have most recently worked on the amazing sci-fi adaption of the expanse series of novels said the witcher stories following an unconventional family that comes together to fight for truth in a dangerous world. The characters are original, funny, constantly surprising, and we can't wait to bring them to life on Netflix, the perfect home for our innovative storytelling. Now, Lauren also introduced us to new writers that are going to be working on the show, and it is Declan Debara from the originals, Jenny Klein from Jessica Jones, and Sneha Kors from Daredevil. Now, over the last few weeks, we've actually been getting breakdowns from Lauren and the rest of the writers on the characters. So who they are and what they want and every other detail about them, it's going to be on their Twitter, but we're going to go over some of the most important ones. Now, here's a series of tweets from Hisrich herself, and she describes the characters. So we have Geralt is described as stoic circumspect balanced and fierce and in his rich's words soft and squishy in a tiny place in his heart that he'll never reveal until maybe the end and even then it'll just be a hint and then we have yennefer meanwhile is fiery proud shrewd and contradictory and plus she's seeking to fill a family-sized hole in her heart even though she resents it and she swears she'll be just fine on her own but she's not and we love her for being both independent and vulnerable and then we have siri which is described as resilient relentless brazen and growing and of course we have Geralt's horse roach and he is ladylike faithful extrasensory and steady 
She also describes Triss Merigold, who is spunky, idealistic, insecure, conflicted, young and naive, and lacking the confidence of sorceresses, which means she's ripe for manipulation, but when she finally transcends the crap, she has a chance to be loved as herself and not as the third wheel with Yin. And then we have Vesemir, who is fatherly, wise, sprightly, despite the fact that he's ancient, historian, and keeper of secrets and tales of the trials of the disappearing cast of witchers, who must face the fact that the world is changing outside Karamoran's wall and how they will change too. Now they haven't actually picked the cast for the show yet, but they're actually actively doing it, but that has not stopped fans from offering their services. And in response to Lauren's tweet about Vesemir, someone replied and said, and it should and could be played by Hamill himself, aka Mark Hamill, maybe in my opinion. And then Mark Hamill replied and said, I have no idea what this is or what it's about, but I agree it could slash should be played by me. I think either Mark Hamill or Jeff Bridges would be the best Vesemir, now, in terms of Geralt, I think it should be Nikolaj, aka Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones, or it could be Vigo Mortensen, who played Aragon from Lord of the Rings. And last but not least, I think a really cool character who could play Geralt of Rivia would be Mads Mikkelsen. Now, those are just a couple off the top of my head, but I'm going to make a full video of the best candidates for Geralt of Rivia. Now, in regards of where the Witcher series is going to be filmed, it's actually going to be filmed in Eastern Europe. And she tweeted out and said, we'll be shooting in Eastern Europe. Yes, this show couldn't exist any place else, period. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up with all the information that we know so far about Netflix's Witcher series. If anything comes up, if we get a trailer or anything like that, we will be sure to make a video of it on the channel. Do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, and go to the start of the video if you guys want more information about our giveaway this month. We're actually giving away 10 tickets to see the Han Solo movie. Let us know if you're excited for this series and what actor you think should play Geralt of Rivia. That's going to be all for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, this has been Wes, and I will talk to you guys in the multiverse.